I'm going to explain how the police ended up cuffing and assaulting an innocent civilian at the end of this epic chase. The guy stopped at a stoplight when the suspect in this pursuit drives head on into his car and then a police cruiser slams into the truck, causing the civilian's car to sustain much more damage. So he gets out of the car quickly and five cops run up and grab him, take him to the ground and put him in handcuffs. Then they proceeded to use his vehicle as cover and later in the night the news asked him about what happened. One of them smashed into my car and um, immediately started shooting guns. I don't want my son and my, and my wife to get part of that so cops just smashed me. Start socking me up, smashing me like if I was the the dude that stole the car, dragging me around, bumping my head, hitting my in front of my family, in front of everybody. And what did the police have to say for themselves? Cruz refused to leave the area, so they then took action. Cruz says he was just trying to get his family out of the line. What do you think? Were the